Hello, what are you doing, mate? Hello. So, pull them away. I'm dressed a bit like your da. I'm not going there with much uh, optimism. I think we might lose 3-0. Um, there's been rumours of lots of injuries going on. It'll be interesting to see who they actually are because Cutter's not giving it away. And uh, let's hope Ensu is out the squad. But yeah, forget about the result. Let's just go there. 4,000 blue noses going down to Fulham. It's going to be a good day, I think, regardless of the result. Stony. Yeah, I'm here again. It's absolutely bloody freezing. This is the river, as you can see. It's and beautiful. I said, uh, if Endai scores, I'll go in there. <laughs> also, every goal we score today, my shirt's coming off. Mate, it might be a bit cold for you. Uh, I think you're in safe hands. You're in safe hands, so, mate, don't worry about it. Uh, I don't think we're so, even going to score. If anybody sees this, get us a bolt pipe the next game, or a jazz pie, as we call them. Oh, oh I love that. <laughs> so, what do you reckon then? I'm going to go for a 6-5 win. Stay there! And then die to score uh, first. Well, to score first, so I'll get off the, the bench. bench. <laughs> yeah, late winner, late winner. I've still got pot noodles, if anybody wants any. And uh, yeah, enjoy the game. What do you think of the lineup though? Shit. Hmm. Disappointing. Hopefully Bramwell's got something left. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah, he needs to do something, but hopefully, hopefully he can just be that difference. I'll take anything. To be honest, I'll take anything. Fair play. Keep take it on. A corner if you like. <laughs> Keep it on. See you later. <laughs> Not even, not even worth getting angry about it. Can't try and digest it. We are yeah, relying on when the wing. When you've got a league two standard manager, you can have a league two standard formation. I mean, there's a lot of. It's a very defensive side, really. Isn't we've it? got five, four. We've got five at the back with four full backs. Only attacking Three players. Midfielders, one striker, and one attacking midfielder. That's just going to be, I don't know, doing whatever. Yeah, yeah. What would you do if Bramall kept good today? You never know. If, if Bramall come good, he could whip in a ball. Sign it now. Fair play. Prediction now. <laughs> Fair play. It's too much modern football. But what? Uh, what do you reckon today? Then what's your thoughts? Three more. take goal. I predicted the same. Oh, fair play. Nice one, mate. Frederick's.
It's been a poor first half. We look all over the place. Full of a poor, but we're making it really easy for them. And it's just no contest really. I can't see where we're going to get any goals from. Every, it's just too defensive and it just seems like they don't know each other all. But, I don't know. Oh, I, we're not getting anything from this match. It's only 1-0 at the minute, but it's going to end 3 or 4, I reckon. What do you think of that first half? Aggressive, boring, shit, all that shit. Nothing going forward. Defensively, giving them everything. We're letting them fly. They haven't even set them into the first gear yet, so it's going to be a lot more second half. At least. Do you, do you, if you could, well, what changes would you make if you had to? Uh, I'd, Davis is playing for me, so I'd probably take Davis off. And then, uh, the way we're playing them, it's going to change how bad we're playing now. So yeah, exactly. There's not really much you can do. There's not really much you can do. Given the options on the bench as well. So. Yeah, so, uh, given that, what do you reckon the final score is going to be? The way this half is going on, if, if we don't step in, I think it would be finish about 3 0 for them. Yeah, I probably agree. I can't see us getting a goal at all. We've uh, got nothing going forward, and I'm barely even have a shot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Also, well, cheers anyway. Lee, how are you? Cold. Yeah. Are you, are you Steve Gottschall out? I have him for the start. I hope he does, but I don't think he will. Right. Exactly, exactly. It's deeper than the manager. It gets someone in that knows football yeah. think, for a start. League one manager. League at two Pink. manager. Yeah. 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 score prediction, Lee, quickly. Uh, 1 0 for What? Oh, fair play. Fair play. Close one, Lee. Yeah, we're
Street and Matchday Hospitality Bridges in the What did you think of the game? 1 0 in the end, missed the penalty. Hey, I got my prediction right at half time. 1 0, yeah, one you know what you did. So, we had the chance to equalise and. You should never take it, please, if you take it. Such a time. Should you take it? Well, where do we go from here, boys? Get the manager out. That's the only way now, get the manager out. Control out time. Oh, my God. Send it off to him, send it out, get him gone. I can't see him going. Well, he's got to go. I know. Stay with it, so Let's say he goes. Who is available to bring in? Who do we go for? Can we? Will he come to us? Will Tony come to us though? We're sleeping giant. I think he'll wait. I think he's gonna wait for a prem prem job. We are a prem. We're sleeping giant. If it's not true, if it's not Pulis, who else? Alan Irvine. Nigel Pearson. He's, ma he's doing well, he's in the Belgian league now apparently, isn't he? Doing well. well we, can we can punch him, why not? Maybe, I think he likes it there, I don't think he'd want to come in. Paul It's a good shout, it's a good shout. <laughs> If you've looked at our away form, we've got two points so far, and I'd say most people could have spent £800 to a grand, I don't know, that hundreds and hundreds of pounds spent following this team for two points. And even in this form, we take over 4,000 fans to Fulham away, and what, we can't even get one glance from the from the manager. Bramwell came over and, and was talking to the fans like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, you, you, you know, I'm sorry, you know, he was talking individually to, to fans, and that is a player that doesn't even play for Blues. He's an Arsenal player, and we had seen him all season, you know, and started out give us a clap and that, but, you know, it's not, it, the manager should give us, you know, thanks for coming, I'm sorry. That would have, if, if he'd have done that, I would have thought, you know what, fair play, if he's out of his depth, you know, but there's just certain things that you, you should do. There's a certain way you should conduct yourself as a football manager. And the one thing about a club, the club is nothing without the fans. And you don't have a job without the fans. They are supporting your career. And we've gone through a lot, to be fair. We've gone through a lot. Now, th th there's people who um, are older than me that have, that have been through worse. And I'm not saying by any means we're, we're uh, you know, it's all doom and gloom. Because if we do go down to League One, then fair enough, I'm just going to take it. I'm just, you know, we're still going to support the Blues. We're not going to, you know, cry our eyes out. It's just the way it is. But I just think that while we're in this situation, we should, we we can have a moan. We can have a moan, and we can, and we can, you know, say cultural out and that. But you, I don't know. I'd like to get a proper discussion. Because there's only so much I can vent to a camera. All, all I think is right. The January transfer window is coming up. Do you really think it's going to turn around before then? 
If you want to get a good manager in before the window, so then they've got a chance to make some sort of change. Um, so the sooner he goes, the better for me. Who comes in? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know who's out there, who can come in and sort us out. Um, you know, who do you reckon? Let me know in the comments who you think should come in uh, to be Blues manager. And whether you think Cutchwell should be given the January transfer window. Oh, I just think there's, there's a certain line. As I said, Harry Redknapp got sacked for losing the dressing room. It's one thing losing the dressing room. But when you, you lose the fans, that's it. It's over. You can't come back from losing the fans, really. I think he's, you know, he's tried his best. But, mate, give the fans some sort of comment. Give them a... Give us something to give us hope. How are you going to get the fans back on side by just going, no, nah, no. Right, let, let, you know what, let's find his late, latest comments. Right, so these were some post-match comments after the Fulham game. What would your message be to the supporters who came down today? He says, I suppose I haven't really got one at the moment. What does that tell you? It's childish. It's childish. He's, be he's being a moody teenager. Not thanks for coming down. Just cheers. No, one word, no. He ain't got a comment. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I know it's hard. No, nothing like that. No comment. Don't care. Wash my hands of it. You can do that, but you expect to continue to be the manager and for us to support you. No, it's just going to be toxic. And with each loss that comes, it's going to be even more toxic until you have to go eventually. As I say, it, it, it was Zola-esque the way, the way he walked off. And... They gave Zola one more game. It was the Burton game. We lost at home. We've got QPR at home. It's probably going to go the same way. We're going to lose. He'll get sacked. Uh, managerless for Sunderland away. And then sort of get someone in for the January transfer window. But the sooner he goes, the better. I think he's done now. After these comments. Can you give us an insight into what you have said to the players in the dressing room? No. One word. No. I can't give you an insight. Is it just me or is he a weird bloke? You know, it's tough times at the minute, but it has been worse and we've come out the other end of it, haven't we? So, let's stay positive. Let me know who you want in the comments below. Um, you, you know, we'll get a bit of a discussion going because obviously I might I, I might be a bit one-sided because I do want Cottrell out, you know. But there are others that might want him in. So, let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know your predictions in the bottom for QPR at home as well and whether you think Cottrell will still be the manager before or maybe just after the game. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.